Welcome back to YouTube How To. I am your guide, Andrea Jean, and this is where I teach you how to grow your audience and income with the power of YouTube faster. If you are brand new here, I have started four YouTube channels, all with over a thousand subscribers. My largest channel thus far is Andrea Jean Cleaning at about 255,000 subscribers, and that channel alone with straight Google AdSense revenue has generated over $200,000 passively. Yes, in just over a year. Or this video right here has generated over 3,300 subscribers, 269,000 views. More to come on that in a bit and how you can replicate the strategy that I used for this video right here. But stay until the end, I do have a special gift for you because I want you to succeed beyond your wild streams. A real quick tip here, I do not recommend having multiple YouTube channels. Do not recommend it. I only do that because I teach about YouTube and I wanted to be able to teach about it across multiple niches and platforms. A fun fact, I do have a channel right here that gains about 50 subscribers per week and I have not posted in almost a year. So if you're interested in seeing more about how I have made that possible, let me know in the comments section below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Imagine. Not posting a video for a year and to still get subscribers and make money. That's absolutely amazing. Instagram isn't doing that. Facebook is not doing that. So how do you get your first 100, 1,000, or even 100,000 subscribers? Because yes, you will, my friend. You may have a love-hate relationship with YouTube and the algorithm. But at the end of our time together, you will love it, my friend. Yes, I know that's crazy to say, but yes, you will love it. Raise your hand right now if this is you, and don't feel bad because this was me two years ago when I first started doing YouTube. You get a video idea and you get so excited about it, and then you're like, yeah, you're thinking about how you're gonna plan the video, how you're gonna create the video, and then you create the video, and then you edit the video, and then you upload the video, and then it's like crickets crickets, very barely any views, and you're like thinking of all the time you spent in creating that video. Let me know right now, has that happened to you? Or just maybe you've been on the YouTube hamster wheel for one to two years now and you're like, I'm not really making any money yet with this YouTube thing. Like if you feel like you're playing the YouTube lottery, it's time that we are going to stop that. In order to be successful in YouTube and get your first 100 subscribers, you have to understand the game of YouTube. Yes, it's a game, my friend. Think of any sport you like, Football, basketball, golf, gymnastics. I'll use gymnastics as an example because I did it in college. You watch them perform. Simone Biles is on my mind here with the Olympics. You watch them perform and it looks so, they make it look so easy. And then you think to yourself, well, like I could do, I could totally do that. So you do the thing, you create the video, you upload it, and you're like, after several months, you're like, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. At least that was how I felt when I was starting YouTube. You might be able to hear my air conditioning. Don't worry about that. It'll shut up here very soon. But let me show you how this video right here has got over 269,000 views in less than one year. In that single video, got this YouTube channel monetized. You're going to need to be able to answer these four simple questions that most YouTube creators overlook and they quit YouTube, they get frustrated, they say this doesn't work. But if you can answer these four questions right here, my friend, ooh, ooh, ooh. Number one, what is your YouTube channel about? What is it about specifically? It's not a vlog channel, it's not a variety channel. You need to get more specific and narrow than that. Think about yourself. When you are hungry for something, let's say tacos or you want a milkshake or something, you're thinking of a very specific restaurant, right? Yes, your YouTube channel follows the same principles. What is your YouTube channel specifically about? And number two, who are the top three to five YouTube channels in your space. Most people that are starting YouTube aren't researching the competition. Now, I like to refer to them as potential collaborators because in time you will want to team up with these people in your space that are doing very well and know what they are doing. But who are the top channels in your space? You need to know this. You need to take the time, especially if you wanna get those 100, 1,000, or 100,000 subscribers. Think of Target and Amazon, and they wanna create a new product. Do you think they just close their eyes and like throw up a product? No, no, no. They're looking at the competition and why certain products are performing better than others. And then they go in and make their move. There's a reason that Amazon and Target are so wildly 
successful. Write these three to five channels down and pay attention to what is already working well for them because chances are there are principles in there that will work for you, okay? Number three, how does your specific channel differ from what is already working? Let me give you a specific example of what I mean by this. Maybe you serve a different type of audience. Maybe you solve a different type of problem within your space, your channel, and your topic. So for example, this channel right here, there are lots of people creating YouTube growth channels, success channels, online business marketing channels, but what's different about me and this channel right here is what I bring to the table. You have your own personal experiences that you are going to bring to the table that's going to attract different subscribers, a different type of audience. See, when I created my most successful channel, Energy and Cleaning, I was working, yep, just bang things, working a full-time job. Most people that were wildly successful on YouTube, that was their that was their main jam. They had all day, every day to focus on YouTube or maybe they had a part-time job or maybe they didn't have kids. So I didn't find people working a full-time job with kids that were very successful in building a YouTube channel, yes? So that's the uniqueness that I get to bring with all of the content that I create. You have your own experience. The second way this channel differs, and I want you to apply this to your channel and your YouTube business, is that I talk about growing on YouTube, but I also talk about the money as it relates to YouTube. Because when I was sitting in my nine to five job and thinking, how the heck can I quit this job that's been supporting my family entirely for several years, all the things, uh, insurance, benefits, like all of, like, uh, can I really leave this cushy corporate job that I'm leaving? I wanted to know the numbers. What what could happen with YouTube? How are people making money? So that's why I share the nitty gritty of that with you. In fact, I have a whole playlist linked in the description box below where I get you in the back end of how much my various channels have generated. So I talk about money and not in many people, not in many people, not as many people are talking about that. So those are just two examples I want you to apply to your specific content. See what's performing well and then answer this question. How does what you do differ from your competition? Because guess what? Your viewers and your subscribers are asking themselves this question. Why is what you're creating worth my time? So when you can get very clear on these four questions, my friend, you will have success in your YouTube business channel creation adventures beyond your wildest dreams. I wanna give you a very practical example when it comes to the mom vlog cleaning community. There's a channel called The Family Fudge, and I remember when she first started, it's been fun to see her transformation, but she's currently at about 778,000 subscribers. She's a mom. She found a community, she knew who her, who her competitors were, and she's solving a very specific problem. Problem, and that's lunches. Like the like, I I like don't want to make my kids lunches. I they eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every dang day. Like what she has done is absolutely remarkable, and it shows that other people are finding value in that as well, based on her numbers and views and subscribers. But just a simple problem solving a simple problem has allowed her to grow that large. Second example right here comes from the deal guy. People love a good deal, a good bargain, and he knew that. But his top viewed videos on this channel all have to do with Who doesn't want to know a hidden secret about Aldi or Costco or Amazon or whatever uh, the case may be? Secrets. That's how he narrowed things to stand out and he solved a very specific problem and curbed people's curiosity. Well, intrigued it and then curbed it. When you start to answer these four questions over and over again, your channel starts to become binge worthy bingeable. People watch one video, they want to watch the next one because they just flow together. They're solving a very specific type of problem. They're, they're helping a very specific type of person and you know what your competition is already doing well so you know the different angles that you can take to make your mark in a very highly saturated online world. When you break it down like this step by step by step, everything that you desire seems much more attainable. I don't want you to be like majority of people that create YouTube channels. They start just randomly posting content, thinking that they're gonna have these great hits, blow up, let's just chase like all the things on trending, let's just chase all the things that are performing really well, blow up my channel, 
and then and then what you get yourself in a situation where you're not really making much money you don't have an audience that is there for a very specific thing and then you're like well heck i should create my own products but the people that are at your channel are not there for something specific they're not coming watch to, coming back to watch more videos and if people are not coming back to watch more of your YouTube videos, well, in the eyes of YouTube and the algorithm, it's kind of like the death, like the death grave of you, you do not want to be in that situation. These tips that I share with you will apply to any business, any business. And YouTube is a business, a hundred and ninety billion dollar business. That's absolutely crazy. And it's absolutely remarkable. So when you can grow your audience and income with YouTube, you automatically stand apart from your competition. Oh, and by the way, I do share a ton of behind the scenes of building my business, my very personal business, personal brand business right here when it comes to writing books, uh, creating products and resources on Instagram, Instagram stories and IGTV. So come say hi at Andrea Jean Co. Send me a DM, I would love it. Now I want you to go out there, have some fun, implement these four questions that I've asked you here today. And in the description box is your freebie. I have a free gift for you to help you further in your growth, wealth, building and entrepreneurial journey. So be sure to check out that freebie in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up, share it out sign up for the weekly newsletter. Lots of playlists there below as well. And I will see you, my friend, in the next one.